Imagine an ultimate app where you can do everything. Message a friend, order a taxi, reserve a table in a restaurant, or even pay your bills. Believe it or not, this is what Elon Musk wants to do with X, an everything app he's creating for everybody in the world. But little did you know, this is not the first app to exist in today's world. After acquiring Twitter for a whopping $44 billion, Elon Musk shocked people even more after making an unpredictable decision, renaming the brand to X. While many people criticized this decision, he shared his plans in this tweet, assuring that X is an accelerant to making the Everything app, an app with comprehensive communication and the ability to conduct your entire financial world. Which is why he bid adieu to the bird. To make things more clear, the newly installed CEO of X, Linda Yaccarino, described their vision of the app from a simple microblogging platform to the future state of unlimited interactivity, centered on audio, video, messaging, payments and banking. But how can you create a super app that has everything you need to enjoy your digital life to the fullest? To understand Elon Musk's plans for this idea, we should travel to China, a digitalized country where every process of everyday life is done by a single app, WeChat. Back in May 2022, Elon discussed his admiration for WeChat on the All In podcast with one of the hosts, David Sachs, a colleague he worked with on PayPal. If you're in China, you kind of live on WeChat. It does everything. It's sort of like Twitter plus PayPal plus a whole bunch of other things all rolled into one with actually a great interface. We don't have anything like that outside of China. And he's right. When WeChat launched in 2011, it was a simple messaging platform for all people across China. But soon, it grew to a super app where you could pay your bills, call a taxi, read a book, order goods, get takeout, contact your friends, and even conduct business. All in one app. Basically, it's a mix of every app we use, from Netflix to Uber Eats, in one icon. In just one year since its launch, it reached 50 million users. Now, over 1 billion users are using this app in their day-to-day -day lives. But what really makes Elon tick is the emphasis on secure payment that can be done through the X app. He takes this inspiration from WeChat's convenient financial system, WeChat Pay. With this system, users can scan barcodes and complete every transaction within a second. This system also allows sending and receiving money from friends in the chats. It's a mixture of Apple Pay and Venmo. And WeChat single-handedly dominated the Chinese market with this feature. So much so that it's rare to find a store or restaurant, even makeshift ones on roadsides, that don't accept WeChat Pay. This super app works like a reliable Swiss knife, with every blade used for various purposes. And Elon wants to recreate this success for the Western audience. But will it be as successful as Elon plans it to be? One of the reasons why WeChat succeeded in China was China's biggest problem. Limited card penetration and with weak infrastructure and large rural areas, people relied on cash as they couldn't use cards en masse. While WeChat's primary task was to connect people, in 2013 WeChat opened a payment service inside the app that made it easier to open a card and use it in everyday life. And Chinese users made a sudden leapfrog straight into smartphones and apps. With its growing popularity, more and more Chinese people use the app to connect and pay. In short, WeChat filled a socio-economic contextual need. Part of its success belongs to the Chinese government too. A powerful force that banned foreign platforms like Facebook, Twitter and YouTube and encouraged local apps like WeChat to grow domestically. In a matter of years, WeChat has grown so large that more tech giants are starting to see the potential opportunity in super apps. For example, Instagram has shopping. Meta Pay lets you send money over Messenger, and TikTok is reportedly about to launch an e-commerce business. Elon surely has competitors in this niche. Simply picking up the idea and replicating it might not work at all. 
But Elon Musk doesn't seem to give up on it. He wants something like this, but for the Western audience. He's still looking forward to enabling users to send money anywhere in the world, instantly and in real life, a direction he and his team is heading. Maybe we'll see the first X bank. But at first, he started with something small, like making X a supersized social app by introducing Twitter Blue or X Blue. This seemingly simple decision opened many features, including a monetization system. This is just the first step in making Twitter the ultimate social app. In the future, he promises to improve every social aspect of X as a social platform. Maybe we'll see one single app in the US where you can read about anything going on in the world, message your friends, get some money from the bank, and order a taxi. We're sure those will be Elon's robo-taxis.